Hello, welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to apply the differentiation rules to an application problem, and the application is the air traffic control. So we have an air traffic controller spotting two planes at the same altitude, converging on a point. Uh, one goes from the north to south, and the other one goes from east to west. One plane is 225 miles from the point of impact and the other one is 300 miles from that impact. And the velocities of these planes are provided to be 450 miles per hour and 600 miles per hour respectively. So the question is asking at what rate is the distance between the planes decreasing since one goes all the way to south and the other one goes all the way to west. Uh, we are being asked uh, at what rate uh, the distance is decreasing. And, and in, the, in the next part, how much time uh, does the air traffic controller have to get one of the planes on a different uh, flight path so that two planes are not gonna collide? And here is the outlook of the problem. There is no mathematics provided in the problem. It's a word problem, real world problem. Uh, we have to convert this uh, problem into a math problem of this chapter. So as you see, one plane goes all the way to west. With the, this guy is far from the point of impact, 225 miles, and the other one is 300 miles. So first part of the question is asking at what rate is the distance between the planes decreasing? Well, the distance between two planes is the hypotenuse of this triangle here. So let me call this side to be Y and this side to be X. As you see, this plane moves in X direction and this plane moves south all the way in Y direction. And, and Y is decreasing this way and X is decreasing this way. So both sides are, both sides of the triangle are functions of time. And from pre-calculus, we remember that if you have a right triangle, the hypotenuse of the triangle is found by the Pythagorean uh, theorem, which is uh, the square root of the sum of the squares of the side. Right? So again, y is decreasing, x is decreasing, and, and the distance between these, these two planes is decreasing, but the distance is given in terms of x and y. So, and since the question is asking like how fast the distance is decreasing between these two planes, we are in fact asked to find the rate of change of d distance with respect to time. That is the time derivative of this term here, but let me just write this term together with the exponent. All right, when we take the prime of uh, the, the quantity inside the bracket, we are gonna use the generalized power rule, but keeping in mind that x itself is a function of time and y itself is a function of time. The generalized power rule states that uh, we, we just put the expo exponent here, one half, and then we subtract one from the power. So this is one half x squared plus y squared to the power of minus one half times the derivative of the inner function. Okay, the inner function is x squared plus y squared, and we're gonna apply the chain rule separately to those, okay? So the derivative of x squared is 2x, but multiplied by x prime. Since prime denotes the time derivative, plus the derivative of uh, y squared is 2y multiplied by the derivative of y. All right, once we get the description of d prime, all we're gonna do is to substitute, uh, substitute uh, 300 for x, uh, 225 for y, and 450 for y prime, and then 600 for x prime. And once you crunch the numbers, uh, as you see that d prime turns out to be 375 miles per hour. All right, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.